We are taking pictures for the cover of TV Guide. We were looking to give the impression of the 1940s. We just had a blast. Nathan was a lot of fun to shoot with. This is my gag, that I'm wearing a hairpiece. People ask about my hair. I say, yeah, it's, it's nice if I can just... My dad has that, like the moving scouts. It's just something we've all been able to do genetically, you know. I can whistle really well. I gotta think of a song. Hold on. Um... Oh, jeez. I don't even know. I can't even do it. What would be on the blooper reel? Um, I slap people. Not to be me. But sometimes it's just a little reset. Something you flubbing your line, you flubbing your line. Sometimes, sometimes people need a slap. And sometimes it's just funny. Unless people start slapping me. I was like, eh, number one on the call sheet, remember? So, money maker. Have you ever been on the receiving end? Now Mr. Fillion knows better. Ha! <laughs> no. Castle has one of those symptoms. He doesn't know when to stop, he doesn't know when to quit, he doesn't know when to maybe this would be a good time to shut up. There's no filter in between what he's thinking and what he's saying. He doesn't have that thing. Thank God he's a nice guy. Castle and Beckett have gotten themselves into some sticky situations before. There's a threat with potentially explosive results. How's that? Beckett and Castle are facing the possibility of a nuclear explosion. We get to delve into Beckett's relationship with Josh, her boyfriend, and then we also get Beckett and Castle delving into what their relationship means with each other, especially when they're faced with, oh my gosh, are we gonna survive this day? Yes, there was a kiss. There was a kiss. So are there repercussions from the kiss? I, I don't know that, yeah, no. <laughs> No, it's kind of like it was a job and it's done, and <laughs> that's it. You can't uh, go back and undo a kiss. Once you've been there, you've been there. Nathan was just a puddle after that kiss, and that was really my only ambition. <laughs> Is it like someone who's scared of heights finally skydiving and saying, I've done it, I'm, I'm good with that, and I'm not gonna do it anymore? Or is it kind of like heroin? Be like, hmm, I'm gonna work the rest of my life to getting more of that. Heroin's kind of a dark comparison. Let's go with chocolate. Let's go with chocolate. And there are people in the camp uh, that Donna is in is thinking that their relationship can survive getting together. I think people can be super spicy and sexy even though they are together. As long as the two characters have a strong point of view, there's stories like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Thin Man. Those are really great examples of how great people can be and how much chemistry there can be even when they're a couple. Just get it going, man. Just do it, you know? <laughs>